Hey, yo guys, what is going on? Today we're going to be UVing inside of Cinema 4D. Now you will need body paint for this. So go up to your layouts and go to BP UV Edit. This is where we're going to do the magic. Now the way Cinema 4D um, and body paint actually UV things is it's kind of similar to my previous tutorial with Headers UV Layout where you create scenes and then you flatten it out. It's the same principle with um, Cinema 4D um, but it asks you to actually make your seams um, in the viewport and then um, go over to the UV texture and then flatten it out. So that's what we're going to do today. So we've got an object here. Um, it's nothing fantastic. It's just an object that you might come across. Just, you know, complex shapes. Um, and you want this to be laid out so you can actually paint your textures and stuff on. And that's cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to define our seams first. So what you want to do is obviously be in this layout which is the BP UV edit we're gonna go to the objects down here we're gonna click on that object then we're gonna go to the top here and make sure we have geometry edge selection on and this will allow us to make selections and this is where the seams will be now to make things a little easier what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use U and L and that's gonna give me the loop selection and I'm going to basically make a loop selection across these edges here. All the way across. And that's going to go all the way around our border, which is fantastic. Now what I'm going to do is we need to define these cuts. So what we have so far is we're saying, I want you to cut around, well across this highlighted edge and then give us the UVs. So what it's going to do is it's going to give us this entire side section as one UV and the opposite side as one UV. Now what we're left with is UVs running down the middle on the outside and in the inside here. So we have to define these as well. So what we're going to do is the same thing. Uh, this can be a little bit tricky so let's just get a decent view and hold shift and click so we add to the selection and just make sure we have all that selected which we do and do the same on the opposite side there we go so what we want to do now is because these are actually wrapping round and they're connecting so they go in a full circle so from here is connected all the way around to the top to here so what we have to do is actually define a little cut in here and you want to have it somewhere where there's actually uh, you know you're not really going to see so somewhere really really small like here for example so I'm going to go to the live selection tool hold down shift and just click that edge there so that means this middle part will be cut here so when it actually flattens out it will be cut here so it can actually flatten out same on here what we're going to do is we're going to go down underneath here and we're also going to add another selection there. So we're doing the exact same thing to the outside. And that should be fine for now. So what you want to do is go to the UV Polygon Selection Tool. The UV tools are actually demonstrated by the checkerboard. So click on that. Click on one and then use Control A to select all of these. Go down here to the UV Mapping section and click on Projection and then use a frontal projection that's going to basically give us all of the polygons um, the UV polygons selected so it doesn't matter which angle you project these from it will project whatever your viewport camera is looking at so it really doesn't matter if you could go to a side view it might make it a little easier for you like that and then all you want to do is go to relax UVs and this is where the important part comes in you want to make sure pin to neighbors is checked on. You want to make sure cut selected edges is checked on. And that's going to use the edges here that we have selected as the cut points. Make sure you're using LSCM and you can use auto align if you so wish. And then just hit apply. And that's going to basically um, give us an unwrap. So we've got the two edges here, well this front face, we've got this back face and we've got this front um, angle here and of course the inner angle that goes round. Now to select these a little bit easier, in your viewport um, for your UVs, hold down Alt, click and drag and that will select the UV island here in your viewport. 
So we can see that this is, well, a little bit on an angle. So let's rotate it round to somewhat a straight degree. And we can see that the 1 is actually in the correct orientation, and so is the E. Now, sometimes you might have it like this, but it's um, flipped back to front. So you use these tools up here, mirror U, which flips it left to right, and mirror um, V, which is up and down, basically. So you need to make sure these are actually in the correct orientation. So again, go to the Live Selection tool, hold down Alt and drag, and we can actually see here what we have. So I'm going to rotate this around just to get it a little bit straight. Doesn't have to be perfect, but the straighter the better. I'm going to move it slightly in the UV space so I can actually see the letters. And we can see here that we actually need to bring it up and we also need to um, flip it um, the U as well. So these are actually all lining up, which is great. So this side here, go back to the live selection tool. So that's the wrong side, so it's this side. So this one is actually looking really, really good. Um, we can zoom in a little bit and just make sure we get this line um, a little bit more straighter. Perhaps something like that. And this is actually correct. The, the numbers are actually in the right order and right direction. However, on this side, we may have to just give it a little bit of an adjustment. So let's rotate it around on this axis and just try get it as straight as possible again. Now this is where Cinema 4D does kind of lack the tools. Um, you don't have any like straightening tools to straighten these up, which is a little bit annoying, but you deal with it. So there we go. So all we need to do now is move this over slightly like so and we can grab the edges here and just maybe bring these in slightly like so and we'll do the same here for this one and just bring this down here like so then what we can do is we can go to optimal mapping go to realign make sure preserve orientation is checked make sure equalize island size is checked and you can give it a space in the default is 2%. I like to give it 5%. Hit apply and it's going to remap them for you. And it's going to use the space as best as its ability and it's just going to pack them really nice and neatly for you, which is really, really good. So now that you have your UV map, um, if you want to make sure you have the right texture dimension here, you can just go to file, new texture, make sure it's uh, 1020. 4x1024 and then hit OK and it'll put them UVs in here. Now if you want to render these lines out so you can actually take it into Photoshop and um, give it a bit of um, a makeover, all you do is go to layers, you want to create a new layer, you can name it if you wish, for this tutorial I'm not gonna. Go over to the paintbrush tool which is this icon over here and in the attributes manager you just want to change the brush size from 10 to 1 and hit enter and then you can actually go to um, UVs, show UVs and then you can go to image I think it's image, actually it might be um, selection it's under here somewhere, I forget which one it is, it's under layer there we go, so you want to outline the polygon but it's greyed out at the minute so what you have to do is go to the polygon selection tool select all of these and then go back to layer and then use outline polygons and then that's going to basically give you an outline of all of your um, your lines so you can you know you basically this is just to get an accurate uh, representation of where the edges are um, you're not going to get the fine details in here such as there's three lines here but with the actual um, shading thing we just did the outline it actually just acts as one line because the, the program doesn't have a smaller brush than brush size than one, um, you can't go to 0 0.1 because it just won't let you. So that's one limitation with this. But as long as you can get a decent outline of this, then that's fine. And then all you want to do to save this is just go to File, um, Save Texture As. And you can save it as um, a TIFF. 
I normally go to Photoshop PSD, that way it opens in Photoshop straight away and um, you know it's got all these layers inside of Photoshop as well so you can just adjust it the way you want um, and that is pretty much how you UV inside of Cinema 4D. It does take a lot longer um, but using this method you get some really nice results um, all of the polygons and, and whatnot are um, going to be equally spaced out in UV space so you're not going to get any stretching. The other thing that you need to hide is the seams but if you actually start painting inside of here um, with uh, body paint you can actually hide the seams quite well uh, but that's all down to experience with using this application so if I just bring my brush size up a little bit maybe to 10 and give it a different color something like this and let's actually bring this up a little bit more and we can paint on here and we can kind of give this a seamless look which is pretty cool now we might not see it in here and the reason we're not seeing it in here is because we need to go to the material and this already has the material on so all you need to do is just delete that material and then we want to apply this material now I'm not quite sure how we actually apply this I think it's the untitled TIFF here that we've got to uh, basically use so if I can go to my materials, I don't think I have it here. I guess you would just bring this in when you save it. Um, so if we just go to File, Save As, and we'll just save it as uh, the Photoshop document, click OK, save it on my desktop, desktop as untitled.psd. Um, we're going to go back to my original startup, and then we'll create a new texture, and we'll bring in the untitled and then here we go we've got it all here so all we do is turn off specular just for now and then we can apply that to this and delete the old one and you can see that it looks pretty good now if you want to see the lines in the in the viewport a little bit clearer go to editor and change the texture preview size from default to something like um, 1k and you'll see everything in the viewport a little bit more clearly and obviously when you render it out you'll see it in its full glory um, so that's pretty much what you do and we can just go back to the UV mode go back to layers and we can just make sure we select this and we want to go to show UVs and we, we want to use the same texture I'm not sure which one it is so I guess open texture and it will be that there we go so we've opened this texture up and then we can continue painting now so if we want to just change the, uh, the colour to something like a little bit of a a little bit of a different blue and just start painting and we can paint the inside here and then we can zoom in a little bit and perhaps we can just darken this colour up a little bit and give it a little bit of a, a dark tinge on perhaps one of the sides like this and maybe give it a little bit of a, a highlight and of course this is just all down to the way you want to do this um, so let me do 20 and that's actually a bit too much let's do five I can give this a really nice highlight in the middle and then if I go in the viewport you can see it actually updates here which is really really cool and of course you can just go to render and then render view and you can render it out and that's pretty much what you want to do and um, so guys thank you very much for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it if you've got any questions please leave them in the comment section below and I will catch you in the next tutorial peace